regex password validation so i need to come clean with this one as you can tell i already um, made it work and i have something else to tell you but i'll i'll tell you in just a moment the instructions are uh, we need to write a regular expression that will validate a password to make sure it meets the following criteria six characters long it contains one lowercase one uppercase contains a digit and it won't contain any um, non-alphanumeric characters so only alphanumeric characters are um, allowed that is not underscore or any other character right so here's the solution and I'm about to show you something else so I actually <laughs> Um, tried a few times with different regular expressions and, and ideas that I had but there was a little bit of a knowledge gap that I had so a little bit of knowledge that I was missing and um, I asked this popular tool now this little guy here chat GPT yes you've heard it um, everywhere else but I told it I needed this uh, regex to be you know um, I needed to create this regex and I didn't specify that to be a JavaScript one but this Ruby is exactly the same um, syntax that we need for our use case so um, it created the regular expression and it just told me so you use this part for that and then uh, I needed to ask okay I kind of understand this part, but I don't know what this part here means. I mean, I know this, I know this, and I know like the group the group here, but I wasn't sure what this was. So this is the actual. I think this is the kind of a, the core of the solution, if that makes sense. So I knew start of the string, end of the string, um, the minimum length. I did know all of those. The digit part. But then um, I didn't know how to look for the particular, um, you know, having one lowercase, one uppercase, and one digit alongside any of the other um, characters in there. So I asked, okay, what does this part mean? And it's a positive look ahead assertion, meaning that it will um, try to find that that position has or doesn't have depending on how you use it um, a particular pattern that you're looking for that's my understanding so I will leave you the explanation from ChatGPT here if you need to read it but also um, I asked for some links to learn more about regular expressions right because that's what we should do and not uh, stay with whatever this thing uh, spits out it's important for us to to look into the actual resources and, and learn a little bit more. But anyway, that was my little, um, I don't know, my little um, cheat there <laughs> that I did. And uh, let's go back to the regular expression. So at this point, what you can tell now is that I basically used the same one. And what we're looking for here is that we have at least one lowercase meaning uh, um, looking ahead there could be any character um, could be one or could be zero characters in front of this one or or a ton of them right or an infinite number of or I guess finite but you get that part uh, number or many I guess that's the, the proper word so it could be zero or many um, characters any time type, type of character I'm looking ahead and I'm trying to see that there's just more, at least one, you know, um, lower case. The same idea is here. Uh, there should be at least one uppercase delimited by these. So any one of this kind of range of characters over here and a digit. So once we cover that, we also want to have only alphanumeric characters as this part here states then we asked for just a uh, minimum six characters of length 
and uh, there's no limit to to the maximum number of characters. So if I if I test the regular expression, it will pass, and then if I attempt it, then it will also pass. Correct a mundo. So if we, I guess we can submit it. I don't know if I don't know if that will change anything in my like ranking or anything. But let's let's just do that. And here are the other solutions. So this is basically the same idea, just in a different order. We're looking for one digit, lowercase, uppercase, and whatever um, alphanumeric characters, minimum six. And same thing, the beginning of the string, end of string. Cool. They didn't use a regular expression here. What they did was look for you know, um, from our kind of collection of characters, the different ones, we're going to look for the entire string, asking if there's one of ours in there somewhere. Right? And it will break if it doesn't. So that's when it returns false. And otherwise, the for loop didn't um, stop anywhere. So it will just return true. Right? I think that's what's happening here. Um, yeah, regular expressions for the win, I guess. <laughs> I did um, use this. So I trained on this kata before I had to um, to complete an assignment, an assessment for my job hunting. <laughs> and it was really cool that I could actually learn about this right before that happened. So... Yeah, I guess that speaks to <laughs> the actual power of training and, and preparing yourself for for new kinds of problems, right? Anyway, here's a solution. Thanks a lot, of, uh, a lot for watching, and I'll catch you later on.